Plus 364 reviews where we've been gone for we haven't done a review in a long time. I didn't think we were doing that the first time. <laughs> It'll be ultra special. So this is our review of Prince of Persia. Classic. Released on the live arcade a while ago. It's been a while. Has it? Yeah, it's been about a month. A month? Uh, yeah, a month or more. Or more. <laughs> so oh crap, I shouldn't have jumped straight into this. I regret everything. <laughs> My <laughs> life is over. <laughs> Press backward on the left stick while jumping to perform a backflip. So That's some good it is like the best advice you'll ever get. So in Prince of Persia, you can run left and right. It's basically um, <laughs> he runs like such a tart. <laughs> the game seems slow for some reason. <laughs> maybe you're just slow and the <laughs> game can't keep up. Or maybe I'm ultra fast. So. The game's pretty basic, it's your, like, puzzle, side-scrolling shitfuck. Oh, shh. That was close. That was skills right there. <laughs> I got mad b-ball skills. Check this out. Ooh, you flipped backwards. So, what can be said about the Prince of Persia? Um, it's a side-scrolling puzzler thing. Pretty much side-scrolling. Crap. <laughs> and you just go around unlocking doors, trying to do shit with the sands of time, not getting killed by guards. Combat in the game is pretty sweet. Um, sometimes it can be a bit lopsided, but who can't? <laughs> and you're taking big jumps and risks. It's fun. Here's some combat. You get to check it out. Oh god, I haven't played this in such a long time. It's A to parry, and then you're pressing X to slash. If you move close to them and parry... Oh shit. Oh. You fell also down. I fell down as hard as I could. <laughs> Special effort. We'll return to the main menu so we can show you some extra shit. So there's single player leaderboards, achievements, help and options. How to play control settings, like credits. Return to arcade. Single player is normal time attack and survival. You only unlock survival after you finish the game. Time attack is finish the game as fast as you can. In even in the normal mode you have um you only have a limited amount of time to do it, you have like an hour to finish the game. An hour? Yeah, but they give you extra time, like, the, you don't have to finish it in an hour's sitting. <laughs> yeah, that we'll play sense. this game for an hour, I'll kill you! The yeah. cutscenes are really funny, because they're completely, like, downs. <laughs> I'm not sure what she's doing. I don't know if I want to know what she's doing. <laughs> so, this is... The, all the cutscenes focus around this. Where the fuck are her legs coming from? Now she's got someone else doing what she was doing. And that's pretty much the whole game. The storyline is that the princess is stuck in her castle bullshit type thing. And you have to uh, deal with it to get her out. This is actually sets up the whole story right here. Now, the princess having a phobia of clocks becomes extremely <laughs> distressed <laughs> at the hourglass and just starts weeping. I don't know why I didn't summon a tiny one. Yeah, wouldn't that have been easier? Yeah. I think lots of tiny ones would be a little better than really big and ones. And the sound of the sand falling through all the tiny ones would have been extra creepy yeah. too. So, the his name is Jafar, which is also a riff from Aladdin. But Jafar in Prince of Persia sucks. Interesting fact about Jafar from Aladdin. He looks exactly like Prince. Interesting fact about Prince. He's quite gay. <laughs> He's gay, but sexy in his own masculine way. <laughs> so, um, you can continue the game or whatever. There's not a whole lot to it, but it is extremely fun. I like it. I like the jumping aroundness of it. <laughs> Sometimes the controls can be a bit unresponsive and sticky, but you just deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it, you little faggots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, switch places with you. Quick, Harry. Harry Farrell. Who's he? He's the lead singer of Jane's Addiction and now Satellite Party. Also, frontman of Porno for Pyros at one stage. Oh. So there's your extra little bit. Oh. I'm gonna die. Quick, Harry. He died. Awesome. Suck it. <laughs> Backflip for glory <laughs> and run like a tard. Wow, there's actually. I did not realize there was a cage there. Yeah, I th 
think this game is... Why is it like 2D but 3D? It's an interesting concept and there's a good story behind it which I won't tell you because I don't like you enough. <laughs> ah! Seems reasonable. Yes. <laughs> Can't argue with that logic. <laughs> but you but can like beat off to it. Couldn't you have gone completely 3D rather than having 2D? Well, they did, you see, and that was the original Prince, that was the Prince of the Persia that was on the PlayStation. Yeah. Oh man, look. What? I've actually died many times by these things. <laughs> <laughs> and so one's more. <laughs> Let's see that again. So that's pretty much the whole game. What do we make of it? What do we give this rating? Uh, it seems okay, but repetitive, boring, and Perry Farrell. I like Perry Farrell, so I'm gonna give this game a thumbs up. Thumbs up my thumbs up my ass. I was about to say up my own asshole. <laughs> nice. So you didn't see that, but we just did the thing where your fists. <laughs> So uh, th thanks, this is Plus 364 Review signing out, thank you so much for watching.